All right, guys, what's well, really good? Today, I'm finally throwing these bad boys on. We're gonna do a coil over install, Super Miata Bro style. Uh, we finally got some clear weather out here. It's still cold, but there's no snow or anything, so we're gonna make do of the day, and we're gonna get this video going. Gang. Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Pittsburgh Automotive. That's some pretty good... Good sound effect. <laughs> yeah, good sound effect action you got going on there. I think you're tightening it, not loosening it. There we go. Look at that. He's obviously been hitting the gym. See how easily he pulled that off? This bolt on the bottom here is an 18 millimeter bolt or 18 millimeter uh, socket that we're using to take it off. Check out what he has already, Tokiko. When you come to the back here, you're gonna wanna take off that panel. I forget what it's called, the gas filler neck panel. Yeah. You're gonna want to remove that. What size of bolts are those? 10 millimeter bolts that hold the shield on. So 10 millimeter bolts, take that off. That's gonna give you access to the bolts in the back here. Once he takes that off, we'll be golden. So he's loosening the bolts back here. It's a very tight squeeze. It's a 14 millimeter bolt there for the top of the top hats. You can kind of see it there. This side is hard. Yeah, this is the hardest side. The other side is cakewalk. You gotta have some like baby hands to get in here. And this one, it's a really long bolt. It takes like 20 minutes if you're doing it by hand. That's what she said. True. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to take it out, but it's kind of stuck on the top, so we're gonna have to pull off this end link here, and hopefully that'll loosen it up enough for us to take out the old shock. These should be pretty dope though. Um, I'm trying to get the car ready by spring, so uh, maybe I'll have it looking a little better by then, and also, I want to uh, throw these on, so it's gonna make the car look a lot nicer. I just gotta get it re-registered now. My uh, registration just expired, and they're real hardcore where I live about that, so I gotta make sure to do it all legit. Too legit to quit. And you're on. All right. See that? He was all wants to buy some Tokiko. Bop bop. No more Tokikos. Now it's all uh, Yonaka gang. So remember to hashtag Yonaka gang. Let's get some of this thumbnail action. Got a good thumbnail going. All right. All right. Ooh, you're breaking it. There we go. Now we line up the top. Oh, that went in easy. And that's the end of the install. All right. Thanks for watching. All right, we're just uh, pretty much putting everything back. I got these uh, 
the 14 millimeter bolts in the trunk put back on. I just need to tighten them up and then we got to put the end link back on and put this all the way through. That's that really long one. But yeah, they're coming out nice. Uh, it's all coming together. I'm uh, kind of excited to see how the car looks lowered. So right now he has the back coil over on. The back driver's side is completely on. Brand new Yonaka. Just putting on the brand new. Look at that. Hasn't even hit ground yet. Just that gangster swag. Just tightening them down. Shout out to South Memphis, North Memphis. <laughs> Ten toes <laughs> down. Orange <Mile. laughs> Yeah. Black Haven. All the hoods in Memphis. All right, now we got this side off too. And we're taking the other wheel off. There it goes. What's the name of your channel again? Uh, Miata Gang Garage. Miata Gang Garage. <laughs> That's my brother's channel. If you're watching this for the first time, just go and subscribe to both channels. He has like double my subs and like double the videos. So. You can always have something new to watch over there. I haven't been uploading that often, but now that it's warming up again, we're going to start trying to drop more videos for everybody. Just keep the content more consistent. So we appreciate all the likes and subscribes. Stick with us. Yeah. So once again, the same thing. 18 millimeter down here. Yeah, it's the 18. Uh, it's a really long bolt, so it takes a while to pull off. So. 20 minutes by hand. 20 minutes. That's the rule of thumb that you should be following. <laughs> yeah. If it takes any less than that, you should be really concerned. But check that out. All the gold, brand new tires, a nice exhaust. Oh, I was looking at the exhaust. It's real nice. A Torsten LSD. Y todo. Uh. It's ready. Alright guys, so unfortunately this looks like it's going to be a fail video. Um, look at that gap. Like, I put the back ones on and I still have wheel gap. So it looks like it did before with the Tokiko. That's a huge gap right there. So, I'm not going to be able to drive the car like this. It looks stupid. Uh, I was trying to adjust it. This part here. Uh, from what I understand, see how this spins? I thought this would adjust it because I, I moved this up on the other, on the back shocks. I moved it way up and then I screwed it in as much as I could, this piece. So that's like maxed out and it's still really high. I screwed it in till I couldn't get any more threads in. And yeah, that was about it. Uh, I just maxed it out on the other one. I thought I did, but if anyone has any ideas, just let me know. Uh, if there's a trick to this that I'm missing or something. Yeah, but for now that this really sucks. Uh, it took me a long time to make the video and then halfway through it I figured out that it's not working right. Uh, yeah, it looks stock pretty much. Uh, so if anybody knows how to adjust these, let me know and I'll get in, whole, uh, I'll get in contact with you. So that's going to be it for today. Um, we've been messing with it for a while and I'm just getting kind of tired of taking it off and on we adjusted it like 10 times so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one